Hello you, how you doing? Interesting recipe for you here today. I'm going to be making a Modra Toffee bland recipe. If you're not sure what bland is, it is fermented whey from the cheese making process. There's a full recipe for the standard bland up above in the link, but I'm going to spice it up a bit, make a different variety. It's going to be one of the few ideas I have about how to make the bland even more interesting and more varieties of it. What I'm making is a mocha coffee bland. Really, really simple, really tasty. The bland really is going to carry the coffee and the chocolate flavours right the way through and it's become like a Bailey's chocolate liqueur, I hope. I've not made this before, I've done some research, I've created a recipe. So come on, let's go make a mocha coffee wine bland. Ingredients for this recipe are really simple and straightforward. I'm using four litres of full fat milk, some filter coffee beans and some cocoa, cocoa powder. Given the choice, I would have loved to have made this wine with proper cocoa beans. However, due to availability, I'm using cocoa powder, couldn't find beans. No. I could have gone online and ordered them, but I want to try and use things that I can get my hands on readily and available. So, cocoa powder it is. First thing we need to do is grab a big saucepan and put the milk into it. One of the awesome, fantastic perks about making this wine is you also end up with about two pounds worth of cheese. Brilliant cheese, tasty cheese. There's a full recipe to the cheese up above. So once you've made this wine, preserve the curds. Make cheese from them. Cheese and wine, double the bonus. You want your milk to be just below the boiling point. If you have a thermometer, use it. Or just keep an eye on it, and as soon as you see those little bubbles coming through the milk, that's hot enough. So turn it on and let it come up to near boiling. Now, bland is an ancient drink that used to be made by Vikings, which was brought over to Orkney, and was a great use of the leftover whey from cheese making in the cottage cheese making industry up here. Not many people make bland, although recently, since I first made my YouTube video about bland, people have been making it and liking it. So I want your feedback. If you've tried the bland, if you've tried this mocha coffee bland, tell me. I love hearing how an old recipe has been brought back to life and revigorated. Wales are playing in the rugby today against Ireland. So I really, really want to watch that match. So I'm trying to get this done as quickly as I can. It's a simple recipe, throw it all in and then I can go and watch the rugby with a few beers. And Wales should win the grandstand. Come on, Wales. Whilst your milk is coming to the near boil, you can start preparing your other things you're gonna to add to the whey. Coffee and cocoa powder, that's what I'm adding. I want to cold brew the coffee because cold brewing it prevents any bitterness coming out of the coffee and makes it tastier and better for the wine. With the cocoa powder, I'm going to make about three cups of hot chocolate cocoa, with about a tablespoon per mug. You don't want to use too much cocoa because it is a right nightmare to clear. You'll find that this might be quite slow and tricky to clear, so give it time. Don't rush this recipe. It will take time to clear. Or it may not, I don't know. That's just my personal experience of using cocoa in other recipes. It will be slow. But then why rush good things? Anyway, let's prepare it.
and now also prepare your filter coffee. I'm using my favourite plungy plungy coffee in my favourite plungy plungy plunger. Add as much as you would do normally if you're making up a plungy coffee. If you don't have one of these, add about four tablespoons. That's about right. And add that to a mug. Give it a good stir. Use cold water. Awesome. I got my cold water to it. You're not going to drink this as a toffee. It's for your wine, so make it cold. And my milk is nearly boiling. Nearly, not quite, it's just the right temperature. It's not there, it's not boiling, but nearly. So, the next step is gin and tonic. Once your milk is at the near boil, you want to turn it off and add about half a cup of lemon juice. That's about four to five fresh lemons or a decent, decent, decent squirt of lemon juice. I use a lot of lemon juice in my wines, so I always find it easy to have a lemon, lemons, bottle lemons. So give it a squirt and then give it a really good stir. Get that lemon juice all mixed in all lovely bean. Once it's stirred, put the lid on and leave it alone for 15 to 20 minutes. Fantastic, time for a cuppa. And we're about done. The curds and whey have been simmering away and separating like an old cheesy. Oh, lovely stuff. So what we need to do now is take off the curds and leave the whey behind. I'll make cheese from the curds, fantastic. And we'll make a mocha coffee wine planned. So what we need to do first is grab another bowl with a sieve or colander and pour the contents of your milk, whey, curds, liquid through the sieve and strain off all and strain off all of the lumpy bits leaving you with a wonderful liquid. That's going to be the base for your wine. Should we do that? And what you're left with is a brilliant bowl of cheesy curds, which we'll make cheese from. The link to the video is up above. Ah, that's hot, hot, hot. It's hot. And also a big, big bowl of the whey for your bland, for your coffee wine. And into your hot liquid, you want to add a kilo and a half of granulated sugar. Just pour it in, stir it, dissolve it. And then simply pour in your plunger coffee. If you use a plunger, plunge it down, it will take out a load of the, of the coffee grains for you. It'll be easier to clear in the long term. So plunge it and add. And also throw in your three cups of cocoa. Bit lumpy. And give it another good stir. It's a quad mire of coffee, chocolate, whey, sugar. It's gonna be brilliant. It's a wee bit clumpy at the moment. You can see bits of particle of the coffee and chocolate and some cheesiness in there. That will all get filtered out and wrapped out when you come to do it. That's fine, that's normal. It's going to be brilliant. That's going to be so good. Then simply grab yourself a clean demijohn and pour it in. And there we have it. It's looking awesome. It makes up the full garden. Tasting divine. All I need to do now is let this cool whilst the rugby is on and come back to it later when it's cool and add the yeast. Fantastic. So I'm going to see you in a bit. Hopefully Wales will win the Grand Slam. 
fantastic. And I'll see you soon. The moderate coffee, bland wine, bland, has cooled down to room temperature. And I've divided that one demijohn into two so that when I put the yeast in, and it goes mental for making it all, there'll be enough headspace that it doesn't go everywhere and make a mess on the floor. Isn't that right? A spoonful into each demijohn will do. And I'm also adding some yeast nutrients. One teaspoon again as well. Once you've added your yeast and nutrients, I'm going to let these stand for a few days until the initial vigorous fermentation has finished. Then merge the two and stir. That was for Mr. Roy. Oh, that's a for you. Okay. Then once you have merged the two demijohns into one after the vigorous fermentation has taken place, I'm going to let it ferment out until it's dry and rack it off and leave it and rack it off again. That cocoa powder and coffee may take a while to sink down to the bottom to jet some down and be filtered off. I'm not quite sure how long but I'll tell you that when I come to do the taste test. So if you're interested in these wines, why don't you subscribe? Now do the taste test and lots more interesting, bland, unusual, wonderful wines. See you soon now. Yay!